Hello, my friend. Um, how are you? How is your photographic life coming? Are you taking some good photos on occasion? Are you having fun post-processing? Are you still learning? Uh, are you still challenging yourself? Uh, I'm here to empower you. Keep on going. Keep fighting the good fight. All right? Keep yourself uncomfortable. Do it. Don't give up. Got to show up every day. That's life. You know this. I'm just reminding you. You know this. Let's work on this photo. Uh, don't say that's the, I, there, I have another uh, one that I did about that one. Okay, we're gonna turn on alignment. Mm, is there ghosting? Let's see if there's ghosting. Okay, so I'll click on this and go boop boop. No, maybe a little. Uh, so oh, I'll go ahead and just flip it on just in case, just for kicks. Turn on ghosting. Okay, bam. Uh, this was taken not far from here, about 30 minutes away in Glen Orkey. Um, we do like two workshops a year, one here in New Zealand and one somewhere far afield. Uh, you should come to them. They're incredibly fun. Uh, they're incredibly fun. You'll make great friends. You and I can hang out. We can walk around. I'll show you my favorite spots. Love this spot in uh, Glenarchy, uh, wetlands. It's not always, it doesn't always happen that we have smooth water there, but in this case we did. Um, let me talk about this compositionally as it's booting up. So I, I like how things exit the frame. I like how it's centered. Uh, we have this nice uh, pyramid type thing in the middle. The geological term for that mountain is a noon attack, by the way, it's where the glacier comes over the top and carves off the top of it is where two glaciers came together. I like this. I like it a lot. Okay, so let's jump over to Aurora, which should be almost ready. Um, you know, I'm not going into Photoshop and showing Photoshop stuff, but I can sense one Photoshop move in the future on this one in that I'll make this look really pretty, but you know, all these tremendous features in the middle of the photo have been shrunken down because of the wide angle lens, all right? Remember that, when you use a wide angle lens, what will happen is it will take everything in the middle and make it tiny, right? Tiny, tiny. It will take everything on the top and stretch it out big, which is, of course, a cool effect. Wow, look at that. It already looks good. Look at that. Sweet, sweet HDR. How do people exist without you? Come on, look at that. I don't even have to touch anything else. But let me get back to that point. So these are huge mountains, but they look quite diminutive here, don't they? So what I'll probably do is go into Photoshop later and kind of stretch them out, okay, make them a little taller. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. You know, a lot of purist photographers that take themselves oh so seriously, they say you should just use what comes out of the camera. Well, think about this. This is just, I, I have such a logical, rational mind that it is undefeatable in issues like this, especially mathematic and, and uh, trigonometry and all this kind of stuff. So you're already using a lens, like I think I used a 14 millimeter lens here, right? So I've already warped reality. That's not how it looks to the naked eye. I've already warped it. I've changed it. Oh, my photograph download is complete, yay. I've already changed it because I've used this lens. Okay, before I took the photo. So what's the problem with changing it after I take the photo in Photoshop? No difference, right? The time at which you warp the light is arbitrary, right? Unassailable point. Argument done. Uh, one thing that we could definitely argue about is if my horizon is on. It's not. As usual, it's off. It was off. Okay, and let's get those little blue nipples so they line up right on top there okay perfect this tree over there is giving me the blues a little bit so i'm just going to crop that out cool look at that coming out a little bit square and then i think when i stretch the mountain more it will be even more square all right okay look it already looks good i i don't need to make any more adjustments really do i i'm gonna make a few i think i'll make the a little more HDRE. I'm gonna make the green. I'm gonna make it a green 
fauna a little bit more glowy and it'll make the water even more reflective. Okay, let's do that. So it looks just before and after, before and after. I haven't done anything. Like this is what Aurora does automatically. Nice, nice. Uh, let's, we can increase the HDR look a little bit here without getting too much halo. Remember you have clouds that attach everything. You really don't see much halo. I'll drop that down a little bit, a little bit of contrast. Oh yeah, I really like that contrast. Now let's add a layer. On this one, let's, um, let's increase the HDRness and lighten up those bushes a little bit. A little HDR structure, decrease the softness. Um, let's do a little bit of smart tone to brighten up some of those bits. Good, good, good. Okay, then we'll pick the brush. And of course they did that everywhere, right? Now when I start painting, it will just do the part that I paint on. Just brighten up those bushes, make them happier. Happy little bushes. Everyone likes a happy bush. All right. All right, good, okay, that's done. Um, adjustment layer. Um, now, mm, we gotta add a little more HDR, I guess. Just a little bit more HDR structure, and a little bit more softness. Just a little bit more something something in the sky, you know? Let's have fun, let's have fun. Let's pop the sky, pop the sky. Look, it wasn't that big of an adjustment. Look at before and after, just a little bit of pop in the sky. A little bit of pop, a little scintilla of pop. One final finishing move, good old image radiance. Increase this. This is mostly just for the water. Pull up the, the colorize, a little bit of brightness. Good. And then I'll just paint this really into the water. Okay, look at that. And I'll do a little bit on the bush too. Okay, look at that. Look at that, look at that. Give it just a little, little lick, lick a little lick of light there. Look at that. Cool. Done. So look at it before and after, before and after. Ta-da. All right. If you guys are enjoying the Passport, uh, by the way, tell your friends. Buy one for a friend, right? It's kind of like, you know, it's better than a, well, maybe it's not better than a, like a, you know, wine of the month club where they get random wines. But in this case, uh, you know, they get photo tips every month. It's like a gift that keeps on giving, like a, a fruit basket or a, an underwear of the month. Um, again, terrible analogies, but you get the idea. All right, you guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.